we all know that this world is in a lot of trouble today. We all know about global warming. We all know that less than 5% of the world's population lives here in the United States and consumes more than 25% of our resources. We all know about the terrible things that our corporations are doing around the world. We know that there's more slavery today than there's ever been on this planet before. We know that we must turn things around. There has to be a revolution. We have to change this. Universal abundance is well within our grasp. We know the mechanics of how it works. This isn't a guess anymore. We're talking about physical issues that do need physical solutions. Real science, real dedicated action that's measurable, that's visible, that's required. Ideas are strengthened as they're shared. We're helping to heal our world. I think that the paradigm that we need to look to for the immediate future is what I call the sixth paradigm worldview. This new worldview of quantum physics that is opening to us. There is a way in which you can get access to the kind of materials that will help you clarify a lot of inchoate ideas that you have at the present time, that you can feel it just, just beyond your reach and that you can begin to look at some of these materials and begin to see, ah, there's the full template of what the full worldview is going to look like, this new sixth paradigm, new paradigm worldview. We can't use the thinking we use to produce our problems to solve them. What would new thinking be? I think it would be, for one thing, consulting nature, the natural world, where things have been working pretty well for a long time. You often hear science is settled, the science is decided. And the truth is, is that science is a process of inquiry. And we always have to question, we always can find a way to do better. It gives us some profound understanding of, of the universe, that, that actually the universe is, is unified. It's, it's all one and it's talking to itself. And that's how it's self-organizes. The very first and most important thing that we can do about this agenda to, to dominate us is liberate our own consciousness. And then from there, the sky's the limit. You can do it, whatever. And as you do, you end up finding like-minded people.